Hey, what's up? Welcome back to an exciting episode of Fandom Fights. Great one for you today. A fun one at the very least, uh, because we got two uh, very good competitors and very fun guys here to play a match against each other. They have put aside their friendship for today um, and developed a world of differences in order to go at each other. In the ring, we have both halves of wrong side of the river. Oh my God, there's so many puns that could be made today. Uh, which side? Who's going to be on the right side? Blah, 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 blah. But Amaru is going up against Jacoby. It's going to be a great time. Uh, last time we saw Jacoby, he was knocking knocking someone out. Uh, last time we saw Rue, he almost won uh, a summer tournament. So both players playing really well. I'm excited to see uh, what they do in today's match. Let's hear what they have to say in the promos. Oh, I call bullshit. I call shenanigans. Tom Foolery for being bamboozled. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on here. I don't know why we're not beating up on people. Um, yeah, let's have some fun. And um, I, I guess you've got all the horses. Yeah, that's right. We're facing each other. Uh, a friendship divided. Um, no, I can't even. I can't even pretend to do that. It's going to be a fun match. I'm super excited to play Rue. Um, it's 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 our team. Our team works interesting in terms of how much talent one of us has and how much the other talent, the other second person has. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see those talents come together in an epic match. But uh, we're going to have some fun because that's always the key. And it uh, looks to me, ah, he already said the things. So now it looks to me like, crap, that means I'm on the wrong side of the river. He's on the wrong side. of the river. Maybe we're both, we're both going to be on the right side of the river this time. Maybe one day I'll see the movie they're referencing. But until then... Let's get into round number one. Round number one is going to work like this. There's going to be 10 questions in the realm of fandom fights. Each player is going to have 15 seconds to write down their answer. At the end of 15 seconds, I'll say pens down, at which point the players will reveal their answer and say it aloud. Each correct answer is worth one point apiece, and should any individual player get all 10 questions correct in round number one, they would receive a bonus question. Each player will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Players, any questions as we get into round number one? Yeah. Uh, Nick, does that mean you're now officially on the wrong side of the river? I, yeah, as though I've always been. But <laughs> okay. here we are. Let's rock it, Roof. Yes, yeah. sir. Your first question comes in the category of Middle Earth. <laughs> Who kills Bolg in the Battle of the Five Armies? Okay, it should be the easy one. Okay. It's like two of these guys. <laughs> one. I could argue there's... At least five armies. Work. Five armies, but the, you know, if there's two bad guys that are like, one <laughs> well, pens down, go to roof. Legolas, Jacoby, Legolas, Legolas is correct. Point of peace. As we get to the next question, it comes in the category of the Wizarding World. Which Wizarding World film features multiple characters using the spell Finite to stop a fire? weird i know you guys didn't see because you weren't looking and i don't want to interrupt you while you're writing so keep doing your thing but both of you looked off like this and at the same time went like this it was quite fascinating five four three two one pens down we'll go to jacoby hey, here part of the deathly hallows part two and root the crimes of grindelwald Crimes of Grindelwald is the correct answer. Rue will take a one-point lead. It's two to one as you get to the third, the third question, which comes in the category of American spies. What type of sporting event is the president attending before the nuclear explosion in the U.S. in the sum of all fears? I recently um, watched these all. Or uh, finished them out. I started them at the beginning of the year. It's taken me some time, but you know, neck and write the occasional like, oh, Wikipedia question. Let me double cross reference with the scene. Okay, this is a good question. But now I've watched them all. I liked this one. Five, <laughs> four. I'm surprised. Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to root. I always think it's one of two, and I can't remember which one for sure. Football game. And Jacoby. I also said football game. Football game is correct. Who? Point of peace, three to two. Next question is in the category of James Bond, spy not from America. Your question is, 
Who directed Diamonds Are Forever? Uh, um, Are they, though? God damn it. Dude Perfect tried to destroy one with a hammer. It didn't work. So maybe, maybe they are forever. Because if that doesn't destroy something... If Ty, if Ty from from Dude Perfect can't destroy something with a hammer, what what can destroy it? Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, we'll go to Jacoby. It's like I think it's the Goldfinger director because he came back, but I don't remember his name. Andrew. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I said Lewis Gilbert. Um, that was one of the options. The guy who directed a bunch of stuff. We're looking for Guy Hamilton. Oh, um, I think he was the Goldfinger guy, but also a lot of this knowledge has left my head. Um, yeah, me too. And that's. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move to the next question, which comes with the category of Pixar. What is the first name of the boy Violet has a crush on in The Incredibles? I hate name questions. You always ask so many freaking name questions. There. Um, I don't know if so many, but I can tell you <laughs> this, may, this may be a pulling back the curtain too much, but there are always three in every round one. Oh, look at that. That's fun. Okay, I should focus on answering this. His name <laughs> is... <laughs> Answer's in. Five, four, three, oh. two, one. Pens now will go to Root. I know writing or is his last name. Is it Jason? <laughs> and Jacoby. I said Zach. Well, asking for the first name would be the easier of the two, but uh, Tony is the first Tony, name. Tony, Tony, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, I think there are no more perfect rounds. Uh, we'll move to the next question, which comes in the category of the worlds of DC. At the beginning of Shazam, Fury of the Gods, what type of falling structure does the Shazamily save people from before being blamed for it? Did you hear that, Mom? I said the word Shazamily on the internet. You always knew I'd do great things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a silly sentence. Five, Shazamily. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Jacoby. A bridge. And root. Bridge. Bridge is correct. Uh, four to three. As we move to the next question, which comes in the category of scores and soundtracks. The songs Suspicious Minds, Hound Dog, and Stuck on You appear in which Disney animated film? I will not sing any of these yet. So I would give it away. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, repeat. Okay, yep, that was good. I didn't finish it. So that is one uh, repeat for Mr. Jacoby. The question again. The songs Suspicious Minds, Hound Dog, and Stuck on You appear in which Disney animated film? I think it's going to be like really as... embarrassing if I don't get it right now. <laughs> I think it's like as close to the... Of the there <laughs> as you can get, as they're like, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll just chill here for about eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to root. I said 101 Dalmatians and Jacoby. They're all Elvis songs, so Lilo and Stitch. RL Elvis songs, Lilo and Stitch is correct. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch is correct, uh, which ties the game up four to four as we move to the next question, which comes in the category of Star Wars. What type of creatures kidnapped Anakin's mother in Attack of the Clones? I should there. Right? Oh, I really see why you guys are good teammates. <laughs> a lot of like opposite yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four. That's not what they're called. Two. <laughs> One's down. Go to Jacoby. Tuscan Raiders. And Amaru. 
<laughs> that is what they're called. Tuscan okay, Raiders. Good. Tuscan Raiders is correct. Point of peace. Still tied. Five balls. We get to the penultimate question. It comes in the category of DreamWorks Animation. Who voices Bernard, the man Megamind disguises himself as in order to date Roxanne in Megamind? Just love when you get those questions where it's like, I prepped for this exact moment. Well, that we could be great if we got it right. I'm going to say yeah. Marilyn Monroe would like so confidently, you know. <laughs> Four, three. Two, one, pens down. We'll go to Jacoby. Isn't it Ben Stiller? And Amar. Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller is correct. Point of piece. Six all. So you get to the final question, which comes in the category of YA. If you've been keeping track, there have been two so far. So your question oh, is, what is the name of Prim's cat in The Hunger Games? Mockingjay Part 1. Another moment. Oof. I'm for this as well. Who knows? I've read these books a bunch, and I was like, if I don't fucking remember this. Interesting. I have not. Not read them once. Seen the movies a lot. Five. Read the subtitles. Does that count? Three. Yeah. Two. One. <laughs> Pens down. We will go to Jacoby. Oh, fuck. Uh, is it Buttercup? Animar. Buttercup. Buttercup is correct. And with that, we are all tied up. Uh, seven Ooh. to seven coming out of round one. Uh, insane. All right, we're moving around. Right. Here's our round number two is going to work. It is the wheel round. We have a wheel with eight phantom categories on it, as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Each player will get a spin at the wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again, but they will be forced to keep what they spin the second time. You'll get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points apiece, unless you'd like to check down the multiple choice, in which case it'll only be worth one. And be on the lookout as stealing is available in round number two. Your categories on the wheel today are Star Trek, DC, Pixar, Marvel, Sci-Fi Icons, Wizarding World, Planet of the Apes, and Horror Icons. With that being said, we are tied, but Rue, you are the higher ranked. Would you like to spin first or defer? Jacoby, you can go, sir. Thank you. Thank you, my fine. Hey, we should be a team sometime. We should. Might work Toby. out. Toby, this is your first spin. Oh, stop. It, it, it's Ooh. nice. But nice. that's bad. That's not. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Yeah, um, I, was just, I don't think you would like that. <laughs> I never like Spinner's Choice. It always puts because, okay, I've. Okay, I gotta think about this. Um okay, Star Trek DC. Can't do Star Trek. Because he's gonna steal he's gonna steal all these freaking answers. Uh, I could take Wizarding. No, because he'll do good in everything else. Okay. I watched all the Planet of the Apes movies. And I did well in that last time, but I've watched a few I finished up sci-fi icons just recently. So maybe if sci-fi icons is all Terminator films, maybe I'd be okay. Um, um what do I not? What do I want to leave? On? <laughs> okay. Fuck! I just no. I just I watched all these. I got to do Planet of the Apes again. I watched them within the last few weeks. Planet of the Apes, please. All right, you got it. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> don't you hate writing? Is this the one you okay. don't like writing? Pick, pick what you want. It's just because there's so few, and we've asked a bunch, but like it's okay. Keep picking it. Strength. I don't want to influence the game. All right, Jacoby, are you prepared for your questions in the category of Planet of the Apes? If you ask me like my will questions, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't even get all those right again. So, just, yes, if let's some do of it. you out there say, "What's the point of a manager?" <laughs> That's true. He would have been like, "You just watch these. Fucking do it." <laughs> yes, Kobe, I'm ready. I'm ready. Your first question: Planet of the Apes. Which Planet of the Apes film opens with humans capturing apes in the jungle? Rise of the Planet of the Apes. That is correct. Two points. Your second question. Who plays the human Karubi, Dana's father, who was killed in Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes? <sighs> Thank you for naming it. I think it's, it's a really weird role. I think it's uh, Chris Christopherson. That is correct for two points. 
Like he's like a big actor, then he just doesn't do anything, and then he dies. Like, hey, you just want to yeah. hang out in a in a, in a thong? For... Sorry. sorry. <laughs> All right. Your next question. In Escape from the Planet of the Apes, Cornelius accidentally kills a human by causing an injury to what part of his body? Like, uh, his head. That is correct for two points. Your penultimate, question. Your penultimate question. After Brent and Nova are captured by gorillas in Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Ursus orders that they then be used for what? Oh, it's like then be Five. used for um three. Let's go Two. multiple choice, please. All right, your multiple choice options are A labor, B scientific research, C house slaves, or D target practice. Yeah, they're trying to study them, right? Uh, scientific research. That is incorrect. Rude chance for the one point steal. Your options again are A, labor, B, scientific research, C, house slaves, or D, target practice. Uh, I don't know this either. Um, Four, three, labor. That is unfortunately also incorrect. We're looking for D, target practice. Hmm. Okay. Target practice. They don't have guns. They use their minds, don't they? Like, what are they targeting? Okay. He said. He said gorillas. The gorillas I was not them. even thinking of the right. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Right. <laughs> Toby, your uh, final question of Planet of the Apes. Which member of his own family did the Colonel kill in War for the Planet of the Apes? His son. And that is correct for two more points uh, in the end of round, or Jacoby's round two. He gets a score to 15, Rue at seven. Uh, so we will bring back in the wheel. Is it going to do what it normally does when it does finish choice first? Yeah, let's it does. Let's see. Out. Let's see. We're usually pretty lucky when we play as a team. Let's see if I'm the one with the luck in this <laughs> in this partnership. That's a good, that's a good point. Rue, this is your first spin. It's on Marvel. Just keep it or spin. I'm again. not risking it. Yeah. Take it. <laughs> Why well, do it? Risk it, Rue. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, where are we at? There we are. Uh, Rue, are you prepared for your questions in the category of Marvel? Yeah, let's go. Your first question. Which Marvel film features a private research company called Atheon who works with the military? Three. Multiple choice. Two. All right. Your multiple choice options are A, Spider-Man, B, The New Mutants, C, Blade Trinity, or D, Hulk? Hulk. That is correct for one point. All right. Rue, your second question. In the alternate present of Men in Black 3, who plays Agent Double A, Jay's partner? Four, three. Multiple choice. All right. Your multiple choice options are is it A, Wes Bentley, B, Patrick Warburton, C, Donald Gleason, or D, Will Arnett? Will Arnett. That is correct for one point. Damn it. All right. Rue, your third question. What type of jewelry does the mysterious man known as the shepherd give to each of his disciples in the king's man? A ring. That is correct for two points. Right, Rue, your penultimate question. In what sport did Matt's father participate in Daredevil? Boxing. That is correct for two points. And Rue, your final question. 
In X-Men Apocalypse, how does the final horseman who keeps Apocalypse alive die in the opening of the film? Three, two. Repeat the question. All right. That is your first repeat. The question again. In X-Men Apocalypse, how does the final horseman who keeps Apocalypse alive die in the opening of the film? Crushed. That is correct. For two points. Oof. Ooh, nice. And a tie game. God, oh, shit. We could have just started from here, guys. Oh, shit. This is exciting. Uh, uh, with that, Rue gets his score up to 15. Uh, Jacoby at 15. Tie game going into round number three. Here's how round number three is going to work. It is the betting round. We have five more questions in the uh, realm of fan of fights. Once the players get a category, they can bet anywhere between zero and two points on the question. If they get the question correct, they will gain those points. If they get the question incorrect, they will lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have reached the end of the match. Players, any questions as we get in round number three? Five whole gosh darn questions. Okay. Yes. No. All right. No. All right. First category you can bet points on is the Wizarding World. God damn it. Well, let's get bets starting with Root. Dos. And Jacoby. Two. All right, your question in the Wizarding World. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, who insults Hermione by calling her heart as shriveled as an old maid's? the first question. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Oof. And down. Dang. Start with Root. Trelawney. And Jacoby. I said Ron. Trelawney is correct. Uh, with that, Rue will gain two points. Jacoby will lose two points. It is now a four-point game, math. Uh, Jacoby at 13, Rue at 17. Uh, as we move to the next category, my points on that category is sci-fi icon. Get bet starting with Jacoby. Two. And Rue. Two. Wow. All right, your, your question. Take it easy there, Rue. <laughs> Which sci-fi icon's film features a drug car drug cartel leader named Kane? Words go hard sometimes. Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Jacoby. Is it Robocop 2? And Root. Robocop 2. Robocop 2 is correct. Uh, both players will gain two points. Still a four point game, 19 to 15. So as you get to the third category, you can get points on that category is scores and soundtrack. <laughs> Let's get bets starting with Root. One. And Jacoby. It's my chance. My only chance. Two. All right. Your question in the category of scores and soundtracks. Ah, fuck. Name two people who have composed the score for more than one YA film. Um... That one whiteboard rounds when Jacoby treats it as though it's a conversation. <laughs> okay. Off topic, but I am very hungry. I'm gonna have a bar of chicken pizza after this. A little bit of extra time since we asked for multiple times. And we'll get answered in five, four, three. Repeat the question. 
All right, that is Jacoby's second repeat. The question again. Name two people who have composed the score for more than one YA film. Track stuff. I have two laptops. I use two laptops. Both of them are very old. One of them died. I charged it fully and then un and left it closed, and it died just while it was closed. And then this one started to die. So now I'm hoping this one doesn't die because it's we're on budget. I have a blanket hanging up in front of me. It's a lot of ambient noise. Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Root. James Newton Howard and John Paisano. And Jacoby. I said James Newton Howard, but I also said Joseph Trapanese. Yeah. Both are correct. Weird that yeah. you guys went for the harder ones instead of saying like Carter Burwell, but that was the other, that was the fourth option. But yeah, both correct. So Jacoby hey. will gain two points. Rue will gain one point. Jacoby cuts into the lead a little. It's now a three point lead, uh, 20 to 17. Uh, so we'll move into the penultimate question, which comes in the category of DC. Let's get back, starting with Jacoby. Two. And Rue. Two. All right. Here's a sitch. Both hit, both miss. Game over. Jacoby hits while Rue misses. Game on. Your question is, how many people does Arthur kill by shooting them throughout the film Joker? Okay. Sorry. I've offended. I'm just really hoping someone will be home by now and start cooking that pizza I mentioned earlier, but they are not. But I haven't even been able to think about it. Five, four, three. Two. Repeat. All right. That was Jacoby's final repeat. The question again. How many people does Arthur kill by shooting them throughout the film Joker? Answers in five. Four, three, two. Repeat. All right. That is Rue's second repeat. The question again. How many people does Arthur kill by shooting them throughout the film Joker? This is tense. I don't want to talk that much. Am I out of repeats? I think you I You are out of repeats. That's right. I thought this would be fun. Now I'm just all tense and whatnot. Um... As are they. Gonna get answers in five, four, fuck, three, two, one. Hands down. We'll start with Jacoby for dramatic effect. I could not remember anybody except for Murray, so one. And Root. Four. That's so many people. And your winner, <laughs> Maru Moses, uh, four, four is correct. Uh, it's the three guys on the subway. And oh, then, the subway scene. Yeah, yeah I forgot um, the subway scene. But with that, uh, Rue takes the victory in what was a great match. Beyond the fact that these two are entertaining, I, they both played incredible. Seven out of round one, um, going eight for ten in both their categories. Like, this was a top-level match which is something i don't know that jacoby would tell you he would be in if you had asked him prior to this um but either way i'm, I'm very happy with the result great stuff uh let's start by talking to our unfortunate second place finisher jacoby bancroft jacoby had i asked you prior to this match or had i told you like i'm, I'm from the future now. i'm going back okay time. all I'm right like jacoby yeah out of round one you and rue you're gonna be tied you should be locked up in an insane asylum Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That's not even it. Out of round two, you and Rue, you're tied. You are from a different planet, sir. Like, 
<laughs> Jacoby, no, that was nice. It's not even like yeah. Rue played bad for you because like you like to self-deprecate a lot. So you'd be like, yeah, I hung in, but like we both had rough days. No, like you both played really, really, you played like up to the level that Rue has been playing at all year. Um, how do you feel about it? Does it feel good? Does it make you want to? Yeah, no, keep fighting. Yeah, it does. It does. It does feel good. I think it's the highest I've scored in round one in like a while. Usually I get like five to six. I think so. I got seven this time. So it's like I'm making progress. I mean, and that was exciting. And then I, you know, obviously I spun Spinner's Choice um, and did well in the category that should be my strength, which is great. And uh, I'm very happy with the result. I'm glad it was exciting because obviously the fear of this wasn't losing. The fear of this was getting blown out completely and not making it you know, any sort of competitive or fun for Rue. But I think this was a fun match because, you know, it's like I got, you know, I think I got like one that he didn't, he got one that I didn't, or a few that I didn't. And then it was just a fun mix match of things. And, and uh, no, that was, that was a lot of fun. I'm, I was excited. That was, I, I'm confident in my abilities to when I do, when I get my own strength. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, Jacoby, I'd ask you about teams, but yours and Rue's teams match will have happened. By now, your first round teams match. Um, so I don't want to be like, how's the tournament going, buddy? If like uh, it didn't go go as well, but like we totally know how it's going. So I will just ask you, sir, who in singles would you like to see next? Who in singles? I would like to play someone not in my own. Well, I was going to say I've, I've played a lot of my own faction members. I've played Jake and Mark and and Rue um and singles this year god on the spot who is good at i don't know someone new someone who i haven't played before it'd be fun to to meet new people so okay great yeah. we'll get you some new people and thank you make some new friends yeah I'll, thank you i'll, I'll take a seat appreciate it cool. yeah absolutely yeah. jacoby great job uh fantastic stuff uh can't wait to see you back as we bring in our winner today amara moses Ruth. <laughs> Uh, I know you know how good Jacoby is. You two are like behind, like you're talking to each other on team. Like teammates always know what to expect from their opponents. So I can't imagine uh, you were surprised that Jacoby made you work uh, as hard as you did today. There was honestly one different, one question made the difference today, and it was that Wizarding World question in round three. Other than that, who knows where he would have been. Uh, how are you feeling about the win? And are you a little bit sad that you had to beat your friend? The only thing that surprised me about Jacoby this week was – learning or remembering the fact that I'm actually five years older than him. What <laughs> the hell is that about? Um, uh, no, not surprised at all. Uh, Jacoby is really, really good. Um, and yes, you are right. We compliment each other so damn well. That's why I love uh, being on a team with him. Uh, just because on top of the fact that he's just a, a great guy in general. Um, a little sad. I've been sad since I learned that like I have to play him bullshit but hey um but yeah i was i was i was i was nervous before the match and i was nervous the entire time the entire time because i also had the wrong answer on that wizarding world question up until like seven seconds left and you I wrote, wrote, very, wrote a very short answer and i was like i, I don't i don't think that's it bro. <laughs> but then yeah you switched last second yeah I, I i was i was like this doesn't sound right it's the only thing i can think of right now let me go through the movie uh but yeah yeah uh it was a great match i um am very happy at how it ended i'm very sad that it unfortunately puts a loss on his on his record um but it was it was great it was it was really great and i'm glad that both of us got to show up absolutely well rue you will be moving on this was part of a title picture which i think i mentioned in one form or another either on this video or, or in a different one uh so you'll be moving on uh, it, it does not get easier from here. I can guarantee you that because you will be playing the winner of um, a match that happened earlier. But even in real life, we don't know who won that yet. But the winner of Cameron Holtzman and Joe Fairley. Uh, oh, God. One of those two will be your next opponent. Do you have a preference, thoughts, words to say to either of them? Yes, um, I want Joe. I don't think I've ever played him one-on-one -on -one in any kind of geekdom arena. Um, so yes, uh, come on, Joe. Let's let's get this done, man. Uh, I, I want to see it happen. You might make me study this year. Um, I hear that. If I hear that that happens, I'm like, shit. I actually have to watch some movies now. <laughs> well, Rue, I think you did great. Uh, if you play like this, either of those people uh, would be in a run for their money because not only did you go seven, uh, then you swept round two and round three. So showing great stuff. Uh, I'm excited to see you back uh, playing one of those two. In, in another hunt for the title. So congratulations on the win today. We'll see you real soon. Uh, and thank you to everyone. Thank you to Jacoby. Thank you to Rue. 
Thank you to Tim for editing this one, and thank you to all of you for checking out this great Fandom Fights match. Be sure to check out all the other matches going on. We are nearing the end of the year. Things are ramping up. It's very exciting, so check them all out. And join us next time on another exciting episode of Fandom Fights. <laughs>